Good afternoon and welcome to a fresh real user review. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Level 8 Edwin bag. Before we even get into anything about this bag, I want to say this has one of the, if not the best, laptop sleeve I have ever seen. Take a quick look before we do anything else. Just look at this nice 3D printed cushion. Now that sleeve is clutch. But who is Level 8? Well, Level 8 is a bag company that focuses more on the corporate world. They make a series of corporate oriented backpacks as well as laptop bags, laptop sleeves, and roller bags. And all of them are very sleek and they'll turn heads, but in a good way. So let's go ahead and do a quick bag rundown and get into a few of the specs. Overall, this bag is a size of 19.3 inches high by 11.4 inches wide and 6.3 inches in width. It weighs in at about 3.17 pounds. This bag is water repellent. And yes, we have been having a ton of rain here. And by a ton of rain, I mean we are actually having a lot of flooding and the river, it definitely came out of its banks. So I have tested this in the rain and nothing has got wet laptop has stayed crispy and perfectly dry. We have a front zipper organizer pocket, as well as a sunglass slash quick access pocket. Of course, we have our large main compartment, but it also features a little bit of organization inside. We have a large 180 degree lay flat laptop slash tablet pocket with that awesome 3D printed laptop padded sleeve inside. On the side of the bag, we have two water bottle slash side pockets that zipper closed. So if you're not utilizing the water bottle sleeve, you can actually utilize it to carry other things. We have this extremely heavy duty top carry handle, as well as a trolley handle. We have a padded air mesh back, some sleek curved shoulder straps, and of course the sleek all black look. Now again, this bag is aimed at the business person for your daily commutes to and from the office or those busy air travel trips. This bag is perfect and sleek and it totally blends in with the corporate environment. Now, as always, we are gonna start our review with the negative points so we can end on a positive note. And I will go ahead and say that this bag is very well thought out and very well designed and um, probably most of these points I'm about to make are just me being picky and nitpicking things about bags. But if you've been following along for a while, you know that I am a bit of a bag addict. So I always like things a certain way and uh, I understand that not everyone has the exact same taste as me. So again, I might just be nitpicking. So let's go ahead and just get on into it. Number one the sunglass pocket, or as I like to call it, the quick access pocket. But yes, sometimes I do wear contacts, and when I do, I carry sunglasses with me. When I'm not wearing them, I need to stick them somewhere because they always seem to fall off my head. So generally, in a bag, I use this pocket for things like my batteries for my camera and whatnot, but for business time, I usually keep like some pens and pencils and stuff thrown in there. But the one thing I have about this is that it has more of a nylon backing to it. And I like to see that microfiber lining in here because when you're using it as a sunglass pocket, I feel like that's gonna be a lot more gentle on your lenses and be less likely to scratch up your shades. And I do switch between my expensive Ray-Bans and my cheap knock around glasses, depending upon what I'm doing. And when I stick my Ray-Bans in there, I'm a little more particular about it because I don't want those lenses to get scratched up because again, they cost a little bit more money. So I would like to see maybe a microfiber lining in that like I've seen on a lot of other bags. Number two, spinning around to the back of the bag, I'd like to talk about the lower padding on the back section. Yes, the center has the air mesh and it fits perfectly over your groove in your spine, so that definitely helps there. But both of these two side sections that are not air mesh, they both touch your back as well. So having that entire bottom piece of padding as air mesh would definitely help, especially for those long morning commutes that you're on the train, you can't find a seat, and you're wearing your back. It gets warm on the train, so that's touching your back and it's gonna make you sweat a little bit. And when you're heading to work, you don't wanna show up to work being a little sweaty. Number three, the ends of the shoulder straps. These things tend to get caught on a lot of things for me. For some reason, I don't know if it's my personal body mechanics, it's the little loops at the end, or maybe just that they're a tad too long. I seem to, whenever I'm sitting down with the bag and I go to get it to stand up, especially getting in and out of the car, 
Somehow it always works itself underneath me and I managed to pick the bag up like a microsecond before I get up and without fail, every time I do that, I end up yanking on it and I tighten the shoulder strap. Now it's not bad, I can always just readjust it because it usually leaves a little groove and it falls right back into it. But there are a lot of bags that I'm seeing now where you actually just roll this up and it has like a little hook and loop that's attached to the bottom here where you can just tighten it and it just stays connected so it doesn't dangle at all. And then it's not bouncing around, it's not getting in your way when you're walking, you're not gonna get it caught on anything that you walk past because these little loops also could get stuck on things as you're walking around. Now I've not had that happen with this bag, but uh, on another bag, what had nylon loops at the end, I have had that little loop get caught on something as I was walking past and um, it wasn't too pretty. Number four, the laptop sleeve that I just got done praising. I think technically this is considered a floating laptop sleeve because it is not totally on the bottom of the bag, but there is so much extra room inside this sleeve that they could actually elevate it up a little bit more from the bottom and then your laptop's not going to be in jeopardy of being hit on the ground. I'd like to see that maybe a half an inch further up because when you're setting the bag down, even though it's technically a floating sleeve, I feel like it's too low to the ground and I don't wanna hit my computer on the ground. I'm always concerned about smashing my computer and really that's part of my livelihood. So if that goes, I'm in big trouble. And I have tested this with other computers and they will still fit even if you raise it up just about a half an inch. But that's all I have for the negatives. Again, I think a lot of them were just me being nitpicky because I like to dig into bags. I have a lot of bags. I have a lot of experience with backpacks. So there are things that I've kind of gotten used to over the years and things that I've seen work and don't work. And those are just a couple of the things that I see. And honestly, the rest of this bag is just top notch. And I really, really dig this thing. So let's go ahead and get into the positives. We're gonna start with the outside of the bag, work our way around and go inside. Starting with the top grab handle. I love this thing. It is thick, it's like a bicycle chain. It's connected to the side. It looks like it's actually bolted through and then it has a heavy duty rubber cover. So it's very, very comfortable to grab and uh, it's, it's a bike chain. So it's going to be able to hold all the weight that you put in this bag. Going on to the back, we have a trolley handle, but I'll show you a little bit later on. This also comes in handy for another purpose. Moving on to this front organization pocket. This thing has plenty of space. It's got my standard pen and pencil slots, which I love in a bag. It also has a cell phone pocket, which I don't generally keep my cell phone in my backpack, but it does fit an iPhone 6S, both with and without the case. Generally, I stick some business cards in here. It also has a second mesh pocket with an elastic band across the top. I can also easily stuff down my pouch with my battery bank and cell phone cables. And it has a zipper pocket where I keep things like my checkbook or other odds and ends that I don't want to fall out. And there's also plenty room to stash a notebook in here and some envelopes with some bills that I need to pay. Moving into our sunglash slash stash pocket, this thing is big. How big? Well, I can fit my entire hand up to my wrist and it spans the entire width of the front of the bag. So this thing not only swallows my sunglasses, but will pretty much swallow anything else that I need to throw in here throughout the day. And if you're traveling, this is the perfect pouch to throw your protein bars in because it will fit a lot and you can get to them really quick. Heading into the side pockets, once you unzip them, they both have a mesh with elastic top so you can fit a water bottle in there. And if you have anything else that you need to toss in there, these can act as additional stash pockets. And if you're not using it as a water bottle, you just zip it up and no one sees that ugly mesh on the side of your bag. Diving into the spacious main compartment, we not only have a cavity that is big enough for everything that you will need throughout your day, we also have two more organization pockets in here. Across the back of the bag, we have a slit pocket that covers the entire length of the back of the bag, and it also has a strap with hook and loop so you can secure whatever you want in there. And across the front of the bag, we have a zipper mesh pocket, so you can easily secure things in here, and being mesh, you can easily see what you have in the pocket. Moving into our laptop compartment, as I said earlier, this is a 180 degree lay flat compartment with the best laptop sleeve that I have ever used. And this easily swallows a 15 inch MacBook Pro as well as my monster Dell, which is a 15 inch, but because it's a gaming computer, it's very thick and a lot longer than a standard 15 inch computer. Now laying across the front of the bag, we have this lay flat pocket that's about three quarters the length of the bag. This would be perfect for things like manila folders with documents, legal pads, potentially a tablet, although it is not padded. 
And as I said earlier, this trolley handle has another use. It's perfect for laying the bag down flat and folding the bag back up. Now I have been using this bag for a few weeks now, and yes, I do work in a corporate environment, so this bag blended in seamlessly. Actually, it was probably a little bit better than some of the bags I've used in the past because generally I, I pick bags that are a little bit loud, so I liked having this sleek black bag that I can walk in and out of the office and I didn't have a camouflage bag or a bright red backpack because yeah, I've, I've gone to a corporate office building with those before, but this thing was perfect. I really, really like this bag and honestly, if I don't have to carry my camera around, this is probably going to be my new go-to bag. There's not very much room for a camera cube, but this bag is not geared towards people that carry cameras around with them every single day. This is geared towards the corporate person. Now, I would highly recommend this bag for your corporate traveler. This thing is perfect and that's what it's really built for. It has the best laptop sleeve that I've ever seen. So you don't have to worry about your expensive MacBook Pro getting smashed. It has plenty, plenty of organization for anything that you're gonna be carrying. It has the trolley handle so when you're going through the airport, you can just strap this on your roller bag and you don't have to worry about getting your back wet because a lot of people travel in suits. And even if you're not traveling for work, this is definitely the best business companion backpack for you. The sleek black look totally blends in with any corporate environment. The front of the bag only has the small eight logo and then the back of the bag has the little bit larger level eight logo, which is pretty sleek. I love simple logos and this, this nails it, level eight. So if you are looking for that perfect backpack to carry your computer, to carry your documents, to carry your cell phone, your battery bank, to go out, go to the office, work all day long, or travel across the country or across the world. The Level 8 Edwin is the bag for you. It has been my pleasure to take a look at this bag and to use this bag over the past couple of weeks. I really, really enjoyed this bag. And if I'm not carrying my camera around, this is going to be my go-to bag. So if you're thinking about pulling the trigger on a Level 8 Edwin, definitely go for it. This bag will not let you down. This thing is top notch. I like 95% of the things about this bag most of the negatives I named were just me being nitpicky about this backpack because I'm just nitpicky about backpacks. Down below in the description box, you will find links to both the Level 8 website so you can check out other offerings that they have and a link to Amazon so you can go ahead and purchase yourself one of these fine bags. If you have another product that you would like me to take a look at, drop a comment down below and I will do my best to see about getting one of those products to take a look at. Good night.